everybody. So let's talk about common mistakes to avoid when you're performing the teeth whitening procedure. So I'm going to go over a couple little things and then make sure to watch the updated video inside the course in a couple days inside the Whitening Pro Academy. So some things to avoid, which you might not have thought of, is being careful what you say to your patient. Maybe not even to your patient, but when you're just kind of talking to yourself maybe. So if you're setting up and you forgot something, you know, be careful what you say. Don't be like, oh my gosh, I forgot this again. I'm so stupid. You know, don't do that. Or let's say you're about to apply the peroxide to the teeth, but then you just realized like, oh, where is my peroxide? I think I forgot to lay that out on the table. I have to go back into my bag and get it. Don't go, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I forgot something. Let me go over there to get it for you. Different things you could do is maybe say like, you know what? I'm going to get a different peroxide because I want to mix it a little bit differently to really make those teeth pop, you know, or, oh, you know what? I want to get a different tool here because I thought I was going to use this one, but I'm actually going to use another one. Doesn't that sound better than being like, oh gosh darn it, I forgot this. It just doesn't make you look professional, does it? Your client always wants to see you as the expert. You're allowed to make mistakes, you're allowed to not be perfect, but don't let the client know that, right? I tell all of my teeth whitening technician students, you know, it might be your first time or your second time, but the client doesn't need to know that you don't have to say things like oh this is my first time or oh I've never seen stain like that before or oh I don't know why this is taking so long normally it only takes an hour but your stain isn't lifting I don't know what the big deal is so just be careful what you say another thing another common mistake that people make during the teeth whitening procedure is if a client says to you you know what my teeth are getting really sensitive I don't want to continue or they're they're not comfortable, something isn't working, They the light's too hot for them or something. Do not stop the procedure. I mean, you absolutely can if the client wants you to, but don't automatically go, okay, well, you're not comfortable, we can't get you comfortable, the, the light is too hot, I don't know why, we're just gonna stop. Well, don't do that. Always come up with solutions. Clients will often say to you or be a little concerned that maybe their teeth are getting sensitive during the teeth whitening procedure. Don't just stop and give up. So never give up. Say something to them like, you know what, it's normal to be a little bit sensitive. How about I remove this layer, you know, take a break. You can even rinse with some warm water if you want. I can try a lesser strength peroxide after this. See what you think. How about that? Because we've only been doing this for 20 minutes. The teeth whitening session was for one hour. You've maybe gone a shade lighter, which is fantastic, but I wanted to get you five shades lighter today. So it's all in how you talk and communicate. Of course, though, if the patient wants you to stop because they're uncomfortable, they should be in control and they do have that right. Just make sure to let them know um, we can keep going if you want to, or do you want to book a different day? You have paid for 60 minutes, but we've only done 20 minutes. Um, it's up to you if you want to give them the money back or save it for another day. I suggest if that does happen and it took 20 minutes, and they paid for a 60 minute session, do not give them the money back. That's not an option because it's too easy for people to just give up. I would say, well, you still have this much time left. Come back tomorrow, the next day, or let's book you in for the week afterwards to finish up. This happens, don't even worry about it. So another common mistake that people make is making the patient feel like you've never seen this before, they're the only one, this has never happened before. That's the worst part of customer service and I see it all the time. If the patient says they're, com they're uncomfortable or they're sensitive, don't say things to them like, well, all my other clients are perfectly fine. I don't know what the big deal is. Not that you would say it in that rude way, but you might say something like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, I don't know why I've never had a client complain before, or a client has never been sensitive before. You want to make them feel good. So say things like, you know what? This is completely normal, especially if you haven't had teeth whitening before. You might feel sensitive just because the peroxides are working. They're working to work its magic to make those teeth whiter but you, you are in full control. We can stop any time, but you did pay for the 60 minute session today. I suggest letting me continue on, but if you like, I can use a lesser strength peroxide. So 
always be in control, show your expertise, and be the best teeth whitening technician out there. So I have more tips and tricks for you inside the course, you guys. Definitely check this out. I hope this helps just kind of give you guys an idea. Let me know if there's any questions. I am very happy to help, and I'll see you guys in the next video.